Hi, my name is Blash and I'm a product manager at Metril. In this Mason video tutorial, um, I'm gonna reveal to you how to create a professional test report. Before we start, I have to point out that these pro reports, uh, based on predefined templates, according to the national standards uh, or the rules of regulatory organizations, are available with a pro license only. Um, so how to check if a pro license is a part of my uh, software solution? So first we go to the um, settings tab and select, select settings. Here we can see the top licenses. If we can find inside here the serial number of uh, our test instrument, we can check underneath whether we also have the pro license or not. Uh, this is indicated here with uh, uh, this particular uh, European Pro Seat. Um, if the license is uh, a part of our software set, but still not, uh, but still not seen here, we can simply connect uh, our test instrument with the uh, USB cable and uh, press synchronize licenses. In this case, all licenses which were um, uh, uploaded by the manufacturer uh, will be synchronized also with the PC software. Uh, this means that um, uh, our test instrument can be used with basically uh, any instance of PC software, no matter where it is installed, as long as we perform this synchronization and uh, we will get the pro software. So once we have this um, uh, synchronization performed, we can um, simply uh, start by downloading the data. Uh, this uh, data download is possible um, via two options. Uh, one is uh, get data and the other, the, the other one is connect. So the get data option uh, will download uh, only the currently open file on the um, test device, so which, is, uh, which can be seen in the memory organizer. Um, but if we select the option connect, uh, then we will get uh, the complete list of all available projects on our SD card. Uh, so, but not to complicate here, we will simply use the option get data. Uh, if uh, we have to choose a different COM port, uh, we can still uh, uh, manually select it here. Otherwise, uh, we have to check that uh, inside here we see measurement instrument USB and we simply press start. Uh, after this uh, download, download uh, procedure will be completed, we will have to uh, save the data on our um, local media and proceed with further steps. So now that we have uh, successfully downloaded the data to our PC software, um, of course, if this data needs to be somehow modified or reorganized, we can, uh, now it's the right time, so we can use either drag and drop option or uh, copy, paste uh, or move. We can edit uh, the parameters uh, of, uh, this, um, of this structure elements if needed, for example, uh, location and other parameters uh, that can be adjusted. Uh, but in our case, um, where we would just simply like to uh, print these uh, pro reports, we will first have to save the data to our local uh, media. So we execute the option save as, and we will simply store it here. Okay, we will replace it as it already exists. Uh, and now, um, before we actually perform by uh, printing these reports, um, I have to maybe um, uh, say a few words about the reports. So, um, uh, depending on the structure elements uh, uh, where we are positioned here, we can select uh, between different types of, of the reports. Uh, so, uh, the reports that are existing in this uh, 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 scope, uh, electrical equipment reports, are EETR Pro, uh, this means Electrical Equipment Test Reports Professional, and this one is a continuous report and also the equipment report, uh, which is also a continuous report. I will show these uh, differences between continuous and 
single reports later on. So if we are located uh, on the parent uh, um, structure elements of our um, appliances, then we can only select the uh, pro report, so the continuous reports. Um, we can check here also the different uh, language options that are available. But of course, uh, for our pro license, we will simply select the English version. Um, once we select it, we can click on the report. So now this um, professional report is being generated. Um, it consists out of, uh, um, let's say, two pages. So the first page here, it's actually this uh, leading page uh, with a predefined um, template. And the second page is actually a continuous page, uh, which will um, be as long uh, as uh, it takes to print out uh, all the results. So it can be a few additional pages uh, at the end. Um, when we are observing this um, second continuous page, we see this data in a shrink mode, but we can also expand the data and eventually we can see how much uh, data will be printed. But let me focus uh, on, the, on the first page. So on the first page, we can actually edit the data. So let's say this is the, um, the customer address, it's a demo hotel, okay, contractor myself um, uh, this uh, data can be also selected out of the database if it is already filled out uh, then okay portable appliances periodic inspection we can type in our own standard or select one from the drop down list we can choose um, the dates and of course also different parameters. Um, what we can also do here is to choose a um, uh, company logo. I will put here a trail and we can also add a signature like this. So now also the signature is added and this will also appear uh, on the other pages uh, when we print this to a PDF. So if we are somehow satisfied with this, um, with this template, uh, we can um, print it to PDF or we can even um, save this template uh, for later on. So that the data which we have uh, filled out uh, uh, currently can be used also later on uh, from templates. So export to template and put it here. Hotel Inter Pro. Save. And we print this report to PDF. ETR Pro. So the PDF report is now being generated. We can put it into two pages. So we can see now that, uh, as I said, this is a continuous report. So we have here basically one leading page and the rest of the results is continuously printing, printed um, until all the data is on the report. Uh, digital signature is added as well as the logo. So if we now um, check the other option, so the other option is printing of uh, single reports. So we can see here that um, we have um, structure element appliance. I have already explained this in one other uh, tutorial. So we have different structure elements. Uh, we can see that we have an appliance and we have an appliance full description and um, uh, similar is with uh, welding equipment or medical equipment. So there are basically two types of uh, structure elements, one with, uh, one with um, uh, less data than the other. So here we have, for example, this uh, appliance and below here we have the appliance full description 
where a lot more data is available. So uh, for printing these uh, single reports, we can select either appliance per appliance, or we can also choose multiple appliance, multiple appliances by uh, holding control button and selecting them manually, or we can uh, select the first one in a row, um, uh, press the shift button and uh, click on the uh, below element and uh, the array of the structure elements will be automatically selected. So if we return to this uh, home page, we see now um, we can go here uh, to create a report from template. Um, for this, we select the hotel uh, demo template and we simply open it. Some selected elements, uh, okay. Would you like to uh, filter uh, data with date filter? So uh, also this option is available. We can always uh, choose um, date filter. So in case that we have uh, under um, one structure elements, uh, also the measurements from the uh, previous testings, uh, we can simply select uh, here, um, uh, date filter and only the last uh, measurements will be printed. If not, if we are satisfied, we can click on cancel and simply again create from template. Open. Okay, would you like? No. So now these uh, uh, reports are being generated and as you can see, the template, the template was used so this um, yellow colored data, it's actually the data which was manually inserted into this template. If we need to change something, uh, we can change it now. If we are satisfied with all the parameters as we can see here on this uh, template, then of course we can simply uh, go here to the option multiple report print to PDF and we will print, print all these uh, reports. Uh, if we need to make some changes on particular uh, report, so on the report for the particular structure element, we can uh, manually uh, change these parameters here by selecting uh, different reports. And for each individual, we can change these parameters. If not, as I said, multiple report print to PDF. We select this one and now we just um, uh, select the destination file where we will print these reports. Okay. So the reports have now been uh, printed into the PDF and we can open this location. Uh, so it's under documents, actual, and some reports. So inside here, we can see all these reports that we have uh, previously selected and they are all in the PDF. We can check them manually if we want. And uh, now we can also uh, check this uh, difference between, so this is single report. This means that for each particular appliance, we will print a leading page as well as the results. Um, whereas to, in compared to the, this uh, professional uh, continuous reports, we print one leading page and uh, the rest of the appliances are printed uh, on continuously on the next pages. An overview of uh, professional report printing is now finished. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.